School road closures are a really powerful way to improve safety for children on their journey to school. Close the roads outside school at the start and end of the day and we can easily remove the danger of speeding and parked cars creating a safer, cleaner and more welcoming environment. To see this in action we visited Millfields Community School in Hackney, a primary that signed up to School Streets, the local council's road closure scheme. Okay, so we signed up for School Streets. It means that the road around school from this corner all the way around is closed to traffic um, from pick up and drop off time. So from 8.30 to 9.15 and from 3.15 to 4 o'clock every day. This is a cul-de-sac and it was full of cars. They were at loggerheads with each other coming round. The fumes were disgusting. It just wasn't a nice environment. So we signed up for this scheme, which means they can't even come down here anyway. Well, they can go down it, but they'll get a ticket because there's a camera there. So the camera is here. So it's really clearly on the side, 3.15 to 4 p.m. We do often stand here and do flash signs at people to try and help them so they don't get tickets. But it's been up for a while, so we think everyone should know. And there are clear signs that says that this is a pedestrian cycle zone at certain times of the day. So it's still actually in the pilot stage. There was uh, a lot of consultation done with local residents and parents, organised by the borough where they came into school. So this is Milford's Primary School, one of our four school streets uh, across Hackney at the moment. This work started about a year and a half to two years ago, talking to local schools that were keen to take action against congestion and air pollution near their schools, and also reclaim those roads directly outside the school gate for parents, children and the local community. It fits into a broader perspective across the borough about how we think about public space. And it started in February. Is it Valentine's Day and the day after? It's safer, it's more pleasant. Feedback from parents, uh, because more of them are walking, is that they actually get to chat to their kids on the way to school. It's much nicer and calmer and you don't have to look behind you to make sure someone's not speeding to run the kids over and the school runs much <laughs> more relaxed. So it's a much nicer place to get to school in the mornings and we're happier for it. We walk anyway, but um, yeah, we enjoy it now. Do you like walking to school here now? <laughs> Tell me why. And? To get exercise. Uh, it's another one, eh? <laughs> healthy for you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Do you feel it's safe here now? Do you remember when there used to be cars going up and down outside? Yeah. And what do you think about it now? It's better. And why is that? Because uh, there's no cars and children can get hit by the car. But not anymore, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's made a massive difference. It's lovely to be able to uh, walk on the road uh, with the kids, it feels much safer. Um, um, and it's just generally a much, it, it's just a lovely atmosphere. I mean, what's particularly nice is in terms of the sort of air pollution sort of goes up the agenda and more people are aware of it. Um, not to sort of have that around, not to have that around, particularly seeing as we're near quite sort of a busy main road. We're seeing more children on scooters and bicycles, which means there is less pollution. And our eco champions, we've got 21 of those as well, are really pleased with that because it's really important for our children, as well as the whole school, that we are more sustainable and there is less pollution. Especially as these children have very small lungs, which are growing, and they're the ones that are suffering the most because they're breathing it in. We have real ambition to see more school streets, more play streets, as part of a broader work to make our streets livable neighbourhoods uh, and tackle air pollution and encourage more active travel. I think it's about having that early conversation. And often the young people themselves in the schools want that conversation. I've visited so many school councils where they've got questions about their local environment, whether it's about the road, whether it's about the park, whether it's about crossings, uh, and all those things come together to create a more active environment for our young people and families. The other benefit is uh, it's, just, it's just the well-being. It's just a really nice environment in the mornings. I stand out here with my head every day. We say good morning to the children and there are no cars, no one's honking horns, no one's going angry with each other. It's just a really beautiful way to start the day and end the day.